One of the challenges in Hogwarts Legacy is to collect field guide pages spread throughout the world. However, not every page can be found by simply casting Revelio. Some are locked behind puzzles, such as this puzzle right here. So today I'm going to explain exactly what these are, how to solve them, and take you through the side quest that introduces the player to this puzzle type. Now hopefully you'll be drawn to this video like a moth to a flame, or more accurately, a moth to Lumos. Ah, uh, ah, uh, okay, that was bad, I admit it. Welcome to Savin's World, my name is Savin, and here is a guide to Moth Mirror Puzzles. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a Moth Mirror Puzzle. Basically, it's the Hogwarts Legacy version of Hide and Seek. By walking up to this puzzle and casting Lumos, the mirror reveals the picture of a nearby location. It is up to you to find that location. Now when you find the pictured area, you'll also find a moth hidden somewhere close by. Simply cast Lumos near the moth, and it will follow you so long as Lumos is in effect. Now just return the moth to the mirror, And presto! Puzzle complete, field guide page found. There is also a side quest that introduces you to this puzzle type. If you head to the library annex in Central Hall, you will find a student named Lenora Everly staring at a moth mirror puzzle. Simply speak with her to start the side quest Moth to a frame. Hello, Lenora. What are you looking at? Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind, but I'm not sure what to do next. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Now solving this moth mirror puzzle is the same as all the rest, save for one thing. Since this is a side quest, there will be a quest marker and a path to follow that will send you directly to the pictured area. So head to that area, find the moth, return it to the mirror, and collect the field guide page. Then speak with Lenora to complete the quest. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. This simple side quest is a great introduction to the moth mirror puzzles. However, the rest of these puzzles are up to you to find and solve. But have no fear, ladies and gentlemen, because I have a video coming out soon that will show you the location of every moth mirror puzzle in Hogwarts Legacy, as well as how to solve each one. But for now, this is Savin saying thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and I'll catch you in the next one.